Hi friends, welcome to this video. Myself Aruna Kumar, I work with Cadma Software Project. In this video, I am going to showcase the option called Flexible Language Subassembly in CATA V5 Assembly Workbench. So, we will see how this works. So, this is actually an assembly called Root Assembly. This is having a part called a base, this is a base part, and one subassembly is there called Link. The subassembly Link, we have part called Link Base, Lower Link, and Upper Link. These are three parts in this particular subassembly. Suppose we want to have one more subassembly to be inserted in this as a root assembly. What we can do is we can just copy the subassembly and paste it to the root assembly. We can just simply paste it. So one subassembly got added in this root assembly. So we want to move this position. What you can do is you can take this compass and select this uh, second subassembly and just drag. So like this you can change the location. If you want to constrain, you can give the constrain and place it there. So now this is actually a rigid subassembly. We are calling as a rigid subassembly. When we are inserting this become a rigid subassembly. Rigid subassembly in the sense when we change this value, this angle for one of the subassembly, I am changing uh, 75 to 50. So you can see that both the subassembly will get updated. This is called a rigid subassembly. So this is how this works. When we are changing the value, both the subassembly will get updated. Sometimes we do, may not need this thing. Sometimes we may have a flexibility in the angles or some flexibility in the constraints within the subassembly level. In this condition, we can convert the assembly into a flexible subassembly. So which subassembly you want to convert? Select the subassembly and go to this particular option called flexible and rigid subassembly. This option is available in the constraint toolbar in the assembly workbench. You can go here and select the flexible subassembly. So now we can see that this color has been changed from blue, it has changed to magenta. This means that this particular subassembly is a flexible subassembly. So now I am trying to change the value for this uh, flexible subassembly. This 75 I am changing to 45. You can see that this is this only has changed, this has not been changed. So this is the advantage of a flexible subassembly. So whenever you want to play with these values, you can go with the flexible subassembly. So it will change the subassembly value without disturbing the main command or main subassembly. We can have multiple flexible subassemblies also. If we don't want, if we want to value same for all the subassembly, go with the rigid subassembly. So after some point of time, if you want to convert your rigid, you can always click change to rigid also. Flexible also, you can convert back to rigid. So like that, then our value will be it will modify the value, it will uh, take the default value. Like that, you can take it back to the rigid subassembly. So, this is how we can convert from the rigid and the flexible subassembly in the KTR assembly workbench. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.